Alright, uh, my name is Whit Ferristale, and I'm going to do my demo on uh, a hearing aid. I figured I'm the only one in here with a hearing problem, so I'll show you guys how that works. I got a hearing aid in my left ear. Um, I want to say I started losing my hearing probably about 10 years ago, I think. I think it was before that, but I just really didn't do nothing about it. I think that when you got a chance to need to get a hearing aid. So I'll just show you guys how it works. I'm going to take it out. So if you guys got any questions, you're going to have to really speak up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is it. Um, usually when I take it out, I, there's a battery in here and this black part that goes around the ear. Because if I don't kind of pull the battery out, it whistles. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But, uh -huh. yeah. There's the battery part that goes in there, and then there's a little microphone inside that sends the hearing part, I guess, through here to the inside where my eardrum's at. But, um, then there's a little volume button up and down. There's three different volumes I have. The lowest setting is when you first put it in, and there's a medium and a really high for if I, like if I'm sitting in class, I'll turn it up probably as loud as I can. But uh, yeah. That's that part, I guess, and then I'll like, show you guys. I have to clean it probably once a week. If, clean it more, I guess, if it's bad. It um, comes with a little brush for the main part of it. Uh, I just kind of stick the brush inside there and clean out if there's like any dirt or wax or anything, I guess. Just kind of make sure you keep it clean. It comes with like a wipe too to wipe it down, but I don't know what I do. Lost it. So, but, um, all right. So the part that goes into the hearing, or inside my ear, there's like a little filter where the the sound comes out. I guess. Want to change that? Probably about once a week. I'll change mine now since I didn't do it. But, just like a filter to catch like wax, pretty much, so you don't clog it up. So if it's clogged up, won't we'll do it or not. Well, this little tool has the, the replacement one already on it, so you take the other end, and put it in here, twist it, pull it out, put the new end in, same thing. Twist it, and then that's that. And then I'll, I'll just throw that away. And with the battery, I'll change this too because the battery lasts probably three, four days tops, depending on how I adjust my volume. So I have to change this up Monday, since Monday, so I need to change it. And uh, it'll let me know when I need to change it. There's a little voice inside there. It's, <laughs> it'll beep like two or three times and say battery low. So once it does that, you got about 20 minutes to let that is. So get these batteries. There's different size hearing aids, and it comes with different size batteries, I guess. So you just get them at hospital or Walmart or Target, just find the right size and take it out, switch it back in, close it up. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, my process, I guess, like when I get out of the shower, you're not I'm supposed to get it wet, so you gotta clean out your ear, dry it out with Kleenex or Q-tip or something, and just, just put it back in, I guess, and then I'll turn up the volume. Yeah, so uh, that's my process for cleaning and stuff. And uh, just so everybody knows, like, there's a lot of times where I'm walking down the hall and somebody will say my name and I won't, won't hear them. So you think I'm ignoring you or something? I'm really not ignoring you guys. I'm just, 